What's up, y'all? Scott, Yippin' videos right here. It's uh, zero dark 30. <laughs> Come out here early to the aqueduct to see if we couldn't get on a uh, flu plate. So I'll go over some of the other stuff when the sun comes up because you can't see much right now. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there we go. Nobody else on this side, so I got it all to myself for now. Oi. Oi. All right, we bet. Wow, so I was walking up, and I just found a whole pack of bloodworms on the floor. There's a $15 somebody will never see again. Shoot it. Oh, I just heard one jump. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, so... This is my 7 inch flicker fluke. It's a grub body with a fluke tail. This particular one's a saltwater color, but it's glow in the dark, so I had it out this morning. This is the new 6 cents 1 ounce line through head. So you run a line through it and you can tie your treble hook on. So you can just check out this action that you're going to get. Every time you're pulling on the line, it's going to whip it around and get really get their attention. Now you can also move it farther back and it's going to be a different you know more drastic pop so i think it's going to be a good addition to the tackle bar but we'll see how it does today i don't even know if the school's here yet so we're going to see what's up hopefully seeing them with the fish on the line all right so we're going to toss one in the gate here it's got a little split shot type of weight to a hook a little grass in it See what happens here, huh? This is like a much better one. Let's see. Is that two of them? Swallow that, didn't 
Well, I have to go and get the uh, pliers out, but let's see. Uh, 20, 24. I want to go on the stringer. Yeah, the, the, as it warms up, they get more and more active. I usually don't come out till the afternoon, but I was hoping to get some, uh, huh? The shrimp. But uh, I was hoping to get, you know, a fluke bite or jerk my bite this morning, but it didn't happen. for my money. Alright y'all, the uh, split shot was getting me wrapped, so I switched over to a small little strider to a barrel swivel, about a foot and a half meter to a uh, hook, and then my, uh, that's a big old grass amp, I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> shouldn't take too long. Take too long. <laughs> Dig. Nah, it's about the same size, 
Oh, 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 look at that. The hook came out already. So here's one of the other things with fishing in these gates. Whenever the flow changes in one of the gates, it's going to change the way it flows in all of them. So I just changed to a bigger sliding weight. Ugh. The other thing that I started doing is, is rather than having my weight butted up to my barrel swivel, I flip it around so that the cup is facing towards the tip of your line. That way when it's in there, it grabs the flow and holds it up and keeps you in the strike zone for longer. It's been a, a really good technique for me, which uh, I was just messing around one day and it worked out and I've been doing it ever since. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh, gotta love that sound. <laughs> oh, fish on, baby. There's a better one. Hi. There it goes. Oh, that's a better one. Looks like about another five, six pounder there. If you start walking him down, he'll start to head out towards the middle or along the side so he won't keep going back in. There you go. That's the only bad thing about being in there is, is they know and they'll wrap you around that arm and snap you right off. You get here the sun was up. Yeah. I got here, the sun wasn't even up and there's already five vehicles up there. Yeah, I usually come in the afternoon, but I was trying to get on the, the early morning fluke and jerkbait bite, but it just didn't happen this morning. Oh, oh get that net. Ah. Look at that perfect hook set right in the corner. <laughs> Shit. That wasn't coming out of huh? There you go, bud. Got it? Appreciate it, man. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh. Let, me, let me go behind you. Oh. Another one? All day, baby. Woo! I love that sound. Can I have some large fruit? Ah, uh, yeah. I only got a couple left, but you can have one.
What's up y'all? It's the end of the day. Went ahead and uh, finished off my helmet. Got me uh, I forget what it is, it's 27 and 24 or something like that. But uh, they're getting chunkier, starting to fatten up. We're starting to see some uh, shad come through. So uh, for me, grass shrimp has been the hot bait if you can find it. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is golf course gates today. It's, uh, but all the gates have been holding fish if you know how to fish for them and catch them. So unfortunately the fluke bite did not come out today. Nobody was catching in the morning and uh, I didn't see anything on artificial. It's, uh, I say all day, it's, uh, it's almost 10 o'clock, but I got here early. So anyway, I'm gonna go home, get some lunch and uh, relax for a while and uh, make some fish or ceviche. Probably ceviche, it sounds good right now. It's gonna be hot. Thanks for joining me on the adventure as always. Make sure you check out our baits, getbentbaits.net. We'll see you on the next trip.